Hello everybody, I'm Chris Provost and you're watching Provost Park Pass Up. I am at Universal Studios Islands of Adventure in Orlando, Florida, right here in Hogsmeade. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can feed your whole family this amazing meal uh, here at Universal Studios. It's at the three broomsticks right up here when you go here and eat. Even if your family members have vegetarians, don't worry, this is awesome. Let's do this. We're here in Hogsmeade and it can get kind of crowded, so sometimes you have to wait in line to get into the three broomsticks. And that's right there, the three broomsticks right over there. And we're gonna get in line and, and hop in and show you this amazing meal you can get for your entire family. Let's do it. It's required now, you have to mobile order when you come to the three broomsticks. Now what you're gonna mobile order is the great feast. The great feast. It, it, can, it can serve a lot of people, like a lot of people, or just me and Rob. But other than that, it can serve. <laughs> you can see Rob's face, he's like, he's like, he's like this. He's, my friend Rob, he's gonna eat a lot of this with me. This is a lot of fun though. It comes with salad, meat, everything. It does not come with drinks, so you do have to order your drinks, but it will literally feed a family, a large family. If you have little ones, they'll just eat like a little bit of it. And it's a really good way to, to make sure everybody in your family's happy. But you have to mobile order it. It's called the Great Feast. The three broomsticks, and we're, we're walking in, we've mobile ordered. How many? Thank you, David. You walk in now. Here's the thing: is when you come in, you mobile order your food. You cannot reserve a seat. You have to get your food, and once you've got your food, then they'll seat you. So you mobile order your food. You come in, and then you are uh, giving your food, and then they seat you. Okay, so we've mobile ordered our food right here, and we, we walked into the three broomsticks. You don't. You, you're going to be tempted. You're going to want to push that button the second you get the three broomsticks. Don't do that. What you do is you're going to wait and they're gonna assign you a table and you, once you assign that table, you push that button and you tell them the table that you're at and they'll bring the food right out to you. <laughs> once you get your table assigned, push the button and they'll bring it out. All right, so here's some like, this is just like a prop of showing you where you grab. This is the great feast that we ordered. It's got some chicken, corn, potatoes, uh, vegetables, uh, ribs, and then a giant salad. That's all included in the great feast. And you guys, for this rest of this video, I'm not gonna do any more food puns. Wait a minute, I can't go cold turkey like that. There's a platter for four in it right there. And you can add additional servings for $18. Right, so this is my buddy Rob, he's gonna go on his phone, the mobile order, and he's gonna say I'm here, and he's gonna put the table number right there. So it says I'm here, right, go ahead, boop, we get that. Enter the table number right there. We are table 405, or we can scan it. Scan complete, look at that. I didn't even know you could just sit them on top of that. That was pretty cool. I'm impressed. And now they're saying our board is being prepared and they're gonna bring it right here for us. All right, so here's a little bit of a hack. I'm gonna say this. They bring out so much food. If it's only two people ordering this, when you get seated, tell them you have a table for, you need a table for four people. Because we've sat down and it's, there's so much food, there's no room at the table for just a small table or two person table. So you wanna get a four person table when you get this meal. This meal can, they say feeds up to four people. It can feed up, I think, a lot more than that. Depending, well, I mean, it's all subjective. Like, how much do you like to eat? How much do your family like to eat? But it, it's a lot of food. You'll see how much it is. If you do need to add additional people, let's say you have six people in your family, you're like, we need more. You can just, when you order it, you can say add additional servings, and it's basically $18 per person. The cost of this is, if you're for four people, it's $17.50. It's $70 to get this whole big, giant thing of food. Uh, it does not include drinks though, so if you have a bottle of water, whatever you have, you might want to bring that uh, or order some drinks, so you have that here. But this food, there is a ton of it. Big salad, lots of roasted vegetables. This is something that uh, we just discovered with my wife Amanda is vegetarian. She likes this because then she gets everything she wants. She gets corn, vegetables, salad, everything she wants anyways, and then the meat goes to pretty much everybody else. Also, when they bring your food out, you can tell your server that when they bring your food out, say, hey, uh, can I have some water? Can I have a cup of water? And if you forgot to bring, order that, and they'll bring you some complimentary water out for you, little cups of water. I just wanted to take a quick little moment while we're waiting for our food, just to tell you a little quick message. I want you to know that I am talking to you. I am talking to you. I know that you might be thinking, ah, not me. If you think that, then I am talking to you. And if you know that I'm talking to you, then I'm glad that you know I'm talking to you, because I am talking to you. I want you to know that I think that you are awesome, and you are amazing, and you make the world a better place. No matter what you're going through, no matter what's happening in your life right now, no matter if it's good or bad, I want you to know that you are awesome. And some of us are going through like little rough patches and it makes it difficult. It will get better. I want you to know it gets better. I promise you it gets better. It's important that you understand 
how good you are and how you make the world a better place. You make the world better being here, and I want you to know that. I think you're awesome. All right, let's get our food here. And let's, let's lunch down on a feast. Look at all this food. All right, look at all this food. Okay, we'll take these plates up so I can see more. Look, it's steaming coming off. There's butter there, there's corn. You got corn over there. You got chicken over here, salads. You've got the potatoes, uh, spare ribs. This is a ton of food. Like a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of food. Look at that. Platter just successfully done. And then here at the table they have malt vinegar, which is used, they use that in England a lot, of course. Harry Potter said England. You put that on the potatoes if you like that. And you put the butter, you put the butter here, it's gonna melt, put that all over the vegetables or use it on your corn. All right, guys, let's get into this. Look at these salads. So much food. I went to put the butter on and it was literally just melted and dripping. Look at that butter. We'll drip that on the corn a little bit. Oh yeah. A little bit on the vegetables. Excellent, this is so good. Like I said, this is a great uh, meal for family. And like Amanda's super happy because you have all the vegetarian options. She gets the corn, she gets the vegetables, the potatoes, and she's very happy with it. And then I can eat the I can eat the spare ribs. So I mean, almost everybody's happy with this meal. That is broccoli. Mmm. I just ate some. And this here is these are carrots, of course, obviously carrots. And that's a little what red pepper. Now there are four ears of corn. See, you can't really see it like, back there. They're kind of buried. All the potatoes that you can pretty much want. And then over here is your chicken. And this is your uh, prime rib. So I'm gonna go right into the prime rib. I've eaten a ton of the broccoli, I love it. Now I'm gonna go into the prime rib. Rob's going for the corn. Get a little corn there, Rob? Yes. Corn on the cob. Corn on the cob. And watch this, the butter is just going to basically just spill out. Oh, there it goes. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Love it. How is it, Rob? I'm all full of butter. It's very good. Very good? Very sweet and very good. Very sweet, very good. Very buttery. I, I love buttery. I've already started, guys. I don't like to eat on camera, so you might not see that very much, but I'll just keep coming back to how good the food is. These are ribs, and they're amazing. This, so this is our drinks. We've got the frozen butter beer and the cold butter beer. And then Rob ordered, this is the pumpkin fizz. spice, pumpkin fizz. I'm gonna tell you this right now, everybody loves the butter beer, it's so good, but that is really delicious. And you guys, I can't even talk about how good these vegetables are. I'm not, I can't describe it. I'm gonna show you. This is malt vinegar. No, don't do that. You put it on your potato. Okay. And you, you just kind of spritz it across the potatoes. And then you eat it. Uh, sometimes you'll put salt on top of it. But these are so seasoned, I don't think they need it. Yeah, it's good. It's kind of an acquired taste. You have to get used to it. First time I did it, my whole mouth like puckered up. Mm. It's really good though. I love it now. Now, I've eaten the ribs, I had some ribs. I'm gonna go for the chicken. I always, this is so hard for me to eat. I always feel like, like are people like watching and like, I feel so uncomfortable. Oh my gosh. My fingers, my fingers. It's good. What were you drinking back there? Butterbeer. Pinky's out. <laughs> Always. All right, guys, this is a check in to see how we're doing. Ribs are almost gone. Oh. Rob's had two corn and cobs, got one left. This broccoli stuff is so good. I just, I love it. Um, we do a little, we haven't, we did a salad, but still, we got salad to go, but we still got two chickens. 
But we're, but we're coming along. I mean, we're just taking our time, enjoying it, just talking and eating. There is a lot of food here. I don't even know what's going on here. They just brought us a little complimentary apple pie. They're like, you guys need this. I'm like, do we though? Do we? I guess we do. <laughs> the potatoes, the potatoes, they've got like a spice on it. It's like a little bit of spice on it. I don't know. What is that? A little spice. I think it's rosemary. Rosemary? Is that a spice? It seems like, I don't even know what it is. It just, I feel like I'm being like super like sophisticated by saying it's got spices. But it tastes good. It's like, a, I can feel like there's some salt on it too. It's like, it's so, I hate eating on camera guys. It tastes really good. I like the food. I can't really, just, I'm not like a, person who describes food like there's people out there who know how to describe it the best I can say is like when I eat it I like the way it tastes and then it makes me happy <laughs> we are slowing down the food train woo woo. I think it just pulled into the I'm full station <laughs> we still have to eat the pie we gotta eat the pie though I feel like we gotta at least attempt it and we did good we did some serious damage Rob, how are you feeling? I'm done. <laughs> choo choo. All right, let's let's break into that pie though. Let's not be shy about that. All right, guys, I got a new clean fork. I didn't want to dirty it up with my butter. <laughs> Actually, that sounds kind of good. All right, going in. Thank you, Rob. Help me out. <clears throat> I think it's apple pie. Is that what he said? Apple pie. Oh shoot! No, no, man down, man down. All right. Here we go. Oh, that's good. Oh, Rob, did you get did you get some of that apple? Yeah, I did. All right. Try that. Try that. Try that. It is hot. I mean, it's hot, but I powered through it. That's wow. That's so good. That's really that's really like surprisingly good. It's a um, it's a, I'll try to describe it. It's like apple, and there's like like cinnamon, and then it's warm, and I like it. <laughs> Tastes good. I was telling Rob, I'm like, I can't eat another bite. And then they bring the pie out. I'm like, well, okay, yeah, yeah I can't say no to pie. I gotta figure that out and get some room in there. And I loved it. I never would have ordered that. I'm so glad. I'm gonna say this right now, guys. Order that. Try it. Rob, thumbs up? Thumbs up. Way thumbs up. But now I'm done. We <laughs> Look at our table, guys. <clears throat> We've destroyed it. <laughs> that was a lot of food. Um, and yeah, very good. And it's high quality food. So you can feed a, a family. But we're not done yet, guys. If, you, if that's all you want to see, go ahead and just, just hop off right now. But Rob and I are going to go now. We're going to catch the Hogsby Express. We're going to go over to the other park because we want to go to... Um, the candy store over there and get a cookie. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, and we're now going to Diagon Alley, guys. Good treat here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to Sugar Plum Sweet Shop and get this special cookie that I love so much. All right, so this is it. The Ginger Newt cookie is so good. And Rob's gonna try oh, the yeah. pumpkin patty. You ready? To see the cutest thing you've ever seen? Yeah. <laughs> oh. mm. And then. So good. They put lots of frosting on it. Wait, I'll describe it so you guys understand what it's like. It's a cookie that just, it tastes so good. All right, so Rob ordered, we found out it's called a pumpkin patsy. I ordered a pumpkin patty and they're like, uh, we sir, don't know what that is. we don't know what that is. <laughs> All right, let's see, we're breaking in half. What do you got there? 
little. It's like actually pumpkin pie inside. It's like a little, yeah, it's, a, it's, a little, it's like a little pop tart with pumpkin, maybe. You like pumpkin? I love pumpkin. It tastes like a pumpkin pie pop tart. Pumpkin pie pop tart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna do one more food thing, Rob. Rob's now gonna show you. He introduced me to this. His favorite thing here at Universal Studios Orlando, what's called potato jacket? Yeah, thanks. So. Called a potato jacket. It's right outside Diagon Alley. Let's go check it out. Some one more food thing, guys. Let's check this out. Okay, so there's Diagon Alley. There's the triple decker bus. Across the way, there's the Krusty Land. But you see this little green building right here? This is what Rob introduced me to. And let's see, let's check it out. All right, I made a huge mistake. It's called a jacket potato, not a potato jacket. Potato jackets, like I guess you'd wear in the wintertime made out of jacket of potatoes. But it's called potato jacket. Let me show you. I'm sorry, a jacket potato. Aren't you a little full? I'm extremely full, <laughs> but I, I can't pass one of these. You can't up. pass one of these up. <laughs> All right, so this is what you get. You get a hot dog here, but these are the this is the things you should be looking at. Jacket potato, jacket potato with fucking cheese, beans and cheese, shepherd's pie. That's the one Rob recommends. They're, they make it fresh right there. This Put up the potato, loading it up. Put a little cheese on that bad boy. Second layer. <laughs> you happy? No. I am right now. <laughs> Ask me again in about <laughs> 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, okay. So the shepherd's pie has got like beef. Is that beef? Yeah, it's ground beef, ground carrots. Ground beef, carrots, and beef. Cheese. Shepherd pie stuff with cheese on a huge, massive potato. Now, if you're a vegetarian, though, you could just go with the broccoli and cheese jacket potato there. So, all right, Rob, what do you think? Let me describe it. I haven't even had it. Want me to describe it? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's potato. <laughs> and the rest of it tastes like shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. <laughs> Ground beef. You can't, how can you go wrong with that? Carrots. Ground what, beef and carrots. That's what it tastes like. Rob's the one that introduced it. Is this little teeny tiny greenhouse right here. Never would have even known about it, but you come here. My wife actually, Amanda, loves it. She's a vegetarian. She loves to get some stuff here. Hey, by the way, wait a minute. Did you hit that like button already? Okay. All right, let's continue on. I just want to say this. If you're thinking about how do you, how, uh, how do I plan a vacation to come down here to Universal Studios Orlando, it is super easy. All you have to do is click the link down below. Put a link down below. That'll get you the very best prices on getting your hotels for Universal Studios and also tickets. Or if you want to come down and make a like, combined uh, vacation with like Disney and Universal Studios, doesn't matter. You'll get the best prices on all the hotels. You can even do a hotel hop and go, or jump around, do whatever you want to do. Or you can call 1-855-GETAWAY. Be sure to tell them Provost Park Pass sent you and you'll get the very best deals. And they'll help you plan your whole vacation. They'll take care of everything for you down here in Florida. That's 1-855-GETAWAY. And let them know the Provost Park Pass sent you and you'll unlock the best savings you can on coming down here to Universal Studios, Florida, and Walt Disney World. Our next video, I'm gonna be going to uh, Magic Kingdom. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button. Uh, if the like button lets me, if you hit the like button, I'll tell you what that does. That lets me know you like the video. So that, that's the way if you like. If you wanna give me feedback, hit the like button. If you hit the subscribe button, and then that really lets me know that you really like the content and it makes me feel good. So if you wanna like give me like a, like a, a holiday present, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna be notified when videos come out, hit the bell notification and that way you'll be notified. So like when the next video comes out about Magic Kingdom, if you have the bell notification on, when we upload the video, you'll be notified. You choose to watch it or not. You guys have a fantastic holidays. I, know, I want you to know how amazing and special you are. You are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful. And thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys later, bye-bye. Universal Studios Florida is super fun, super cool. I ate a lot of food today. I got a little bit too much food in my body. How am I going to get it all out? I don't know, but I'm going to try lots of food, lots of food.